For centuries past, humanity used to believe that nobody could fly in the skies like birds. But today, millions of people are not only flying in planes around the world, some have even walked on the moon. Others are living in space, and still others are preparing to live on other planets in the future. In his dynamic book titled, What Cannot Be Done, Can Be Done, Dr. Andy Audu has been proving to the church world that dead people can be raised from the dead and greater miracles can happen today, according to Jesus' command in John 14, 12. You too can be inspired to do the humanly impossible as you read What Cannot Be Done, Can Be Done. To buy your copy, visit MyMiracleTV.org or call right now to one 638 What can we say rather than say thank you Lord for the great and mighty things you've been doing. And Father, we bless your name because of just who you are and what you mean to the human family entirely, particularly to those of us, and particularly again myself, that you have saved from sin, and you've transferred us into the kingdom of your marvelous son, the kingdom of righteousness and holiness of true life. We bless you and we give you glory. And Satan, in the name of Jesus, I attack you and I rebuke you. Get out of the way right now in Jesus' name. Let the people of God go and serve Him. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. I am Dr. M. D. Audu, the anointed Jukun man from Taraba State, that is northeastern part of Nigeria, but living here in the United States of America with the great good news that is covering, hovering, and blanketing the entire world as we are believing God to reach billions of people with this end time demonstrative gospel of power, signs and wonders as you've been hearing how God is using us to raise the dead, not just one time, not just five times or ten times or twenty, I mean we're just going on now, we are going on doing it and seeing the repercussion, the, uh, the impact of reaching the whole world as God has given us even the tools of great, great global television or digital television as we stream live all over the world. People are watching. The responses are phenomenal because people are seeing that our God is really the God of transcendent power. Not only raising the day, but tremendous miracles. And many people, because of this, are turning to Christ. We thank God for this. And stay tuned at www.mymiracletv.org as well as www.raisingtheday.org Amen. Again, I'm Dr. Andy Audu of uh, the Raising the Day broadcast. So now, stay tuned. We are going to take up our Bibles. And we are going to slap the devils around with the true sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, that divine, what I call the H-bomb. I'm not talking about the hydrogen bomb, I'm talking about the Holy Ghost bomb. Hallelujah. That decimates and destroys the yoke and the bondage of the enemy, Satan himself, that has, he has put upon mankind by using the tactic of sin. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Anyway, take your Bibles now. We are going to, we are really discovering or rediscovering the secret of phenomenal church growth and particularly taking the gospel like wildfire because the Holy Ghost wind is blowing right now mighty things are happening yes we know I'm not ignoring the fact that the enemy is doing his dirty work out there too to many believers church going people are knocked down some just quit on Christ and backslide and on and on and on but thank God too for those who are repenting and getting back on their feet again and there's some who not got knocked down and are still laying down there, they quit on God. But to those of us who have made up our minds, especially myself, to no way out. I've tested what the devils can give to mankind. I live in sin, I knew what sin was doing to my life and my health. But now that I've tested the goodness of God and I've made up my mind <laughs> I'm going to, to go all the way out with Jesus. I don't care what the devil does here and there to stop me, he will not. 
because I am in the strong, the strongest hands in the whole universe, in the hand, strong hands of God Almighty Himself. You too, as my brother and my sister, as you depend upon God, He will not let you down. Hallelujah! Praise God! Praise God! So, uh, we, we are sharing a lot of things, and, and uh, you, know, you heard me last week, and it's today, what? Well, today is the 9th of March, and uh, you heard, you know, the first day of March of 2014 uh, about uh, the some kind of activities, you know, it's a demonic thing. And um, those of you maybe who have been participating in that, don't get me wrong, I'm not against you. You see, I'm against the evil one. Satan is a seducer. He wraps up evil uh, with good packages and he's dishing them out, selling them out in order to woo a lot of mankind, humanity into hell with him. And so I used to be too, like you, my eyes were blinded. Uh, I was doing some things, I was sincere and honest about them, but I was sincerely and honestly wrong, and I was lost. So, when you hear me saying some things, not that I'm attacking you as a person, I'm attacking Satan. Now, you might only get offended if you're so much in love with Satan that you don't want to quit him. So that you can feel the offense and then maybe try to turn against me. But I'm not against you. you know, I'm against Satan and his sinister, demonic kingdom uh, that is out there to antagonize or oppose the advancement of the kingdom of God and the purpose of God here on earth. So, some of us are bold. I mean, we vote, we have sold, we have bought the lies of Satan about certain festivities. For example, uh, can, uh, uh, like uh, um, Mardi Gras and uh, Halloween and all kinds of devilish activities that I have crept into the church right now and never have I seen such kind of behavior even when I was in Europe you know, like what I'm seeing here in America because a lot of us preachers we have uh, said okay now we will let's take this kind of belief system bring it to Christianity and polish it and dust it off and then put Jesus Christ's name on it and sell it for example the Christian yoga and you know, and the martial arts and on and on and on we have seen some of the oriental demonic practices some of the African demonic practices, some of the Indian demonic practices have been incorporated into Christianity now and we wrap them up and we're selling them out just by slapping some Bible verses around and, and covering it up with the name of Jesus or Christianity simply because we want to make money out of it. Or we think about so doing we're going to win more people. It's not going to work. Rather it's going to weaken us more and more and more and more and more. So God is reviving His people. And I'm one of them. I am so much on fire about Jesus. And the more the devils are raging and attacking me, coming against me, the more I love at them, love them up. Hallelujah. I use the Holy Ghost laughter here, love them up. And I challenge them up. And as you know, I keep on saying that this should be the lifestyle of every Christian. We don't need to wait until the devils attack us, then we respond or we react. That is a waste of time. You go on the offensive, go on the attack. Attack first. And I am in that mood right now for 35, 36 years. I am constantly attacking the devil, going after him, hunting him down with his demons. And this is why now we are doing all over the state of Georgia as we are traveling. I am tired of sitting in the church building, you know, begging people to come. I have been doing it year after year since my conversion. I just love carrying Jesus to the devil's territory, hunt them down, hunt those devils down and liberate people by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, last week we had that Mardi Gras feast here in this city, and it's not new, they've been doing it for almost 12 years, uh, while I was still living in Florida. So when I came into the city of Albany, Georgia, they incorporated, they, 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 they I sort of imported it from Louisiana, from New Orleans, uh, New Louisiana, and brought it here into the city of Albany, and they're practicing it, and people are going there, women are almost walking naked, and you know, people get drunk, and they misbehave, and do all kinds of, and some Christians, go there and put their stand just to make money, they sell their products, thinking, you know, to a sort of raise up the economy of the community. But what good is it? If you raise up the economy, but spiritually we're dead and we're bringing more trouble upon ourselves, suddenly, of course, we start seeing the curses now pulling us down, 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 down. So, for nearly five years now that I've been living in this city, and I would say enough is enough. Somebody has to stir, you know, stir up things too. Not to go there with uh, uh, some kind of revolting attitude, or marching on the street, and 
uh, you know, chanting this. No, I don't do that. I, I don't do that. There's a better way I do it. I just go there with the light of the gospel and shine it forth in the midst of the darkness. Then demonstrate the power of God. And this is exactly what we did with my team last week. We were there in the Mardi Gras, but we went with Jesus. And I believe that this is the end of this Mardi Gras. Unless if they change the, 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 the strategy of what they've been doing and presenting the right thing, but if not, it's over now. My prayer and my activities in this city will make this thing close down, and they've got to, you know, we're going to see people turn to Christ. Now, if you might be the organizer, organizer I'm not, I don't hate you. I love you too, brother. I love you, my sister. I love whoever is organizing this event. We love you, but we cannot inv you know, invite the devil into our city and expect God's blessing to come. It will not work. Sin and righteousness cannot mix. They cannot cohabit. They cannot live together. It's impossible. Amen. For over 30 years in nearly 40 nations around the world, God has been using Dr. Andy Aldo mightily, according to John 14, 12, to raise many physically dead and dying people, heal the sick, operate many special miracles, as well as winning many sinners to Christ. As the author of the internationally best-selling series known as Raising the Dead, Dr. Odu has been honorably received by many world leaders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, log on to RaisingTheDead.org for additional details because Dr. Odu is coming to your area for a great meeting and you need to be there.